Well, we need monsoons and 30% dip in the average rainfall for March, April and May in South Interior Karnataka from where the city gets its supplies of vegetables has led to a whopping 100% increase in the prices of vegetables in the city. Well, sellers and authorities say that the trend is going to continue till the monsoon arrives. Now, as prices soar, the consumers are facing a shortage of food. After unprecedented water crisis, the plight of the common man has been worsening with skyrocketing rates of vegetables. Well, this is the Shortage of supply in vegetables and delay in monsoon had made a big hole in the pocket of common man where they have to shell out double the price when they have to come to a market to buy the vegetables. The prices of beans and tomatoes have doubled more than what it was two months back. Let us go and speak to one of the vendors. How difficult for them to convince the customers who come and buy vegetables. So what is the price right now when you compare to last two months back? Two months back. Two months back, the tomatoes was 8 to 10 rupees a kg. Now it's a four times more. And other things like beans, it was 24, 30 rupees a kg. Now it's 140, 120, the good quality beans. Not only those things, other things like greens and all, coriander, parak, methi. There are four times more in the market now. And for this purpose, poor people are struggling very much. Government should support for them. So how, how, how difficult for you to convince the people? Because people will ask you for a lot of discount when they come over here because the prices are in, increased. How difficult for you to convince the customers? So most of the customers know the prices of market now because they see the paper, news, everything. Apart from that, they also know because there's no proper rain in Bangalore, because of heat also. If the rain comes also, it's like two months to green the vegetables come back again. And most of the things is we got contact with the five-star hotel, three-star hotels. For that purpose, we are under loss. See, if you supply for 5,000 vegetables, we have 15, losing 15,000 rupees in that. So, uh, how long will this remain? Two months more, we will release this. Okay, two months more. Two more months more. So according to the vendor, the, the increased price will remain for next two months. So the common man who have a, to live in a budget life have to shell out more money when he have to come to market and buy vegetables. With Nishchita and video journalist Harish Sagairaj for NewsX, Bengaluru. The price of the vegetables have doubled than what you paid two months back. <laughs> so what do you feel? <laughs> yeah, it would be according to the need, according to the need, according to the need, <laughs> according to the need of the house, we'll still buy, no, vegetables. So isn't it, isn't it a, uh, affecting your budget, where you have a fixed budget to buy vegetables and now you turn up and pay more than 100 rupees for beans, more than 50 rupees for tomato, whereas in last month 10 rupees for per kilo and 30 rupees per kilo for food. Yeah, it, it is affecting, but you, if you still want the vegetables, you'll still have to buy it, no? You don't have any other go, even if it gets increased. Yeah, yeah there's no other. Okay. There's no choice. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you see the increasing in price? How it is affecting as a uh, common man? It is affecting the common man because simply the income is not matching up with inflation rates. So, but the necessity is there, the needs are there. So, you have to come and buy your vegetables, everything. So, many experts say that uh, the increase in price, like 100 rupees per kg beans, 130 rupees per kg beans, 50 rupees per kg tomato, will remain for next two months. That's probably the prediction of the better people who are aware about it. But then we still have to go ahead and buy whatever will be the cost. Can't go on to bread and butter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wrong person, mom. <laughs> Vegetable <laughs> price. <laughs>